Hi guys, it is Cara the Bubble Lush and I am really excited. I'm going to film my very first like February favorites thing. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, so I've gone through the house and I've gathered up all of um, mine and Hannah and William's favorite things this month. I put them on a tray and I have no idea kind of what order I'm going to do this or how I'm going to do this. And now that I'm sitting here, I realize I didn't grab anything to represent like Christopher. Sorry, babe. Love you. <laughs> Oops. So maybe I'll start with the biggest, bulkiest thing <laughs> on my tree that's taking up the most room. And it's um, one of Hannah's favorites. So she is like obsessed, obsessed with picnics right now. And we got her this maybe, man, when she was like her first Christmas, I think. And this has been such a good investment. It comes with um, like plates and little food and stuff, which is great for like one and two year olds. And now that she's bigger, she's taken that stuff out and she's put, um, it's going to sing. Mm, what's inside? Um, she's put her like green toys cups and plates in here. And she'll make like cup, uh, cookies out of Play-Doh, which is also on here. Where'd you go? Um, she is also obsessed with Play-Doh. She, seriously, if I need like 10 minutes of quiet, I ask her if she'll go play Play-Doh and it is, it works like a charm. So I gave her a little roller and some cookie cutters and she makes cookies for her picnics and it's just awesome. It's perfect and she just loves doing it. I don't know. So I have to check in here <laughs> to make sure that there's not Play-Doh cookies because there was. So picnics and Play-Doh, that is what she's loving. And Hannah will be three and a half next month. I think that it is super, super important to continue taking your prenatal vitamin if you're going to breastfeed. And um, William and I, we're doing great with breastfeeding. He's 11 months old and he is going strong. There's no issues with supply or anything like that. I need to do a breastfeeding update, but so I'm continuing to take my prenatal vitamins and I'm also taking my calcium. So I hate swallowing pills and I love gummy vitamins. In my mind, you pay a little bit more, but I look forward to taking my vitamins. Like, I'm bummed when I realize I already took my vitamins today and I have to wait until tomorrow before I can take them because they're that delicious. So the prenatals are kind of, um, I don't know, they're a little more sour, I guess, but they're delicious. But the calcium chews, oh my goodness, people. These things are delicious. They're this candy. It's basically... It's candy. It's covered in sugar. Do you see this? Do you see the sugar? These things are, they're amazing. They're so good. I'm like trying not to eat them right now. So prenatal and calcium, I think are super important. So that's what I've been taking every day. And I love Vitafusion. They are based in um, Vancouver, Washington, I believe. And I used to inspect them. I, <laughs> I've audited their environmental impact. Um, I just, I think that it's a good company and I feel very comfortable supporting them and very comfortable um, ingesting their products because I've reviewed all of their ingredients as part of my previous job. I was an environmental engineer, so I, I'm comfortable with Vitafusion. I like the company and I like that it's a local company because I'm in Oregon and they're in Vancouver and it's just like right over the border and boop, there we go. Yeah, I am loving the, um, the dried fruit, the freeze dried mango from Trader Joe's. I don't necessarily, I mean, I like them. I think that they're good, but they're so good for the kids because they taste like candy, but they're freeze-dried mango, it's not a big deal. They're perfect, like, well, this one's a little fat. Let's see, um, let's get a normal size one. There we go. That's like a good representation. It's kind of like the size of like a small steak fry. And Hannah loves to eat them. William loves to eat them. He's really good, you know, he's got teeth and he can chew and stuff like that, but um, he can kind of like suck on it and it kind of disintegrates in his mouth because it's freeze dried. It's not dehydrated, so it's not like super chewy. It just dissolves kind of. Um, and it's really easy for him to hold and kind of feed himself. So this is usually like a dessert after his dinner. I give him some freeze dried mango and he thinks it's like amazing. And it's pretty healthy. Um, I can kind of trick Hannah into being like, here's dessert, fresh fruit. It's not fresh, but better than ice cream. Back in like October, November, we were in Costco and we were gonna get some hot chocolate because Hannah loves hot chocolate. She is like a hot chocolate fiend. And this woman, it was kind of strangely enough, it was just like, if you're gonna get hot chocolate, don't get that stuff. Get this, this. It's the candy cane cocoa, I don't know, it's from Stevens. 
and it's delicious. It actually, they were like almost done. We're almost done. But um, there's like actual bits of candy cane in here. So since we're almost done, last time we were at Costco, we bought just their like regular milk chocolate cocoa. And we're slowly making our way through that. So this is a Hannah favorite. I don't really drink it um, unless I'm like jonesing for chocolate. I'll have a hot chocolate and it's kind of my cheat, I guess. Um, but Hannah loves this. So, and it's a really good price. I mean, this is a, ton, this is heavy. This is four pounds. This shouldn't be heavy. I really need to work out. This is easier to lift. Z bars are pretty new to our family as well since we've been shopping at Costco. Um, one of my girlfriends from Massachusetts, I saw that this is like something that she always makes sure that she has kind of in her emergency diaper bag for her preschooler. So I picked them up. They're delicious. Not only does Hannah love them, William loves them. And I really like having them in my diaper bag because if I am just like ravenous, I can eat it too. <laughs> they're, they're really, they're pretty good. Uh, I am fond of the iced oatmeal cookie one, but there's also a chocolate brownie that is sinfully delicious. Sinfully delicious. But I think that they're really good to like have in your diaper bag for like a shelf stable on the go. It can get lost in the bottom of your bag and it's not gonna go bad type of snack. So Z bars. And the last food kind of item is the yummy pouch. Oh my goodness, I love these. William is kind of, he he's very much a mama's boy, but he kind of has a little independent streak like Hannah does, and he likes to feed himself. I'm a big fan of these yummy pouches because if I make like a vegetable side dish or something for dinner, if they're steamed, I can like grind them up and make a quick baby food like right there, and he can kind of eat what we're eating in the pouch, and I just grind it up and put it in the pouch. See, it's got like a Ziploc seal, zip it, and then he holds it like this, and he's there. And it's got like a kind of an expandable gusset here. And so it's not, I don't know, it's just the way that it, the way that the kids suck it, it just empties out really well. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to clean. And um, I like that it's reusable, refillable. And okay, here's my thing. So I can either buy jarred baby food or I can buy baby food that's already in the pouch, but I'm paying more per ounce for the pre-pouched food. So if I buy the jarred food and I put them in a reusable pouch, then I'm kind of saving money in a way. I don't know, but I like these. I like the flexibility that they give me. I like that I don't have to fill them through the spout like the, um, like the other brands are, that I can open them this way and fill them this way and then seal them up and then the kids like, anyways, long story short, these are great. I love these and I like the bigger size because with the bigger size you put like a you know a small normal portion in there you don't fill the whole thing up but that way it's not like tight it's not totally full so when the kid like squeezes it he's not geysering the food out there's a little give so I like the bigger size rather than the smaller size okay does that make sense Great. Oh, I lied. There's one more food item. William, uh, he's kind of started with a sippy cup, and I really, really like this one. It's the Munchkin. Um, I just bought this at Target, but I like the little mouthpiece. I like that he has to, like, compress it and suck it, so it's, I don't know, it makes sense for him being a breastfed baby, and he really, really likes it, and he has no problem tilting his head back, and it's really easy to hold, and it's very easy to clean, because when you open it, there's, like, nothing. <laughs> you know, there's like no gaskets or anything like that. It's super easy to clean. And I like when you push it in, when it clicks like that, you know that it is completely closed and it's not going to leak. Awesome. So this gets two thumbs up and I think it's very affordable and it comes in some cute colors and I'm, I'm a big fan. Okay, a couple more toys. We have had these for a long time. I got this for Hannah for Easter last year, but lately it is there has been a resurgence and this has been a huge hit in our house. This is the Green Toys Build a Bouquet, I think it's called, and it's awesome. It, there's tons of flowers, different sizes, different petal designs, and all these different little stems and then there's some base plates and you can like build your own bouquets. These are great. They're great. Plus I like that, can you see through them? See my face through the hole? So uh, like stuff doesn't get stuck in there. They're really easy to clean and they're made in the USA from like recycled plastic. So even though it looks like it's a plastic toy, it's like a good plastic toy. It's a green toy. This is by Green Toys. William is 11 months old and he lives to make noise right now. So do we have a music box? This kind of represents our music box. 
Um, this is from Melissa and Doug. Um, anything musical that makes a ton of noise is his favorite thing right now. So this, while mildly annoying, is one of his favorite things in February. That's me dancing. It is winter, the skin gets dry, and so I am loving this lotion, um, Baby Time by Epicentral. This is their Snuggly Lotion. I got this, I think, in a Citrus Lane box, and it's um, it has an aromatic cherry butter. This stuff smells so good, so good. And William loves it. He has fairly sensitive skin, and he never has like any reaction to it. Hannah has very sensitive skin. She never has an issue with it. Um, and so I love it. I love it. It's called snuggly lotion and it really does it just smells snuggly and I think it's because the cherry butter smells so delicious it, it makes them smell like kissably edible and then we've had some issues with diaper rash he's trying so many solid foods now that he's had like some kind of tummy troubles and so since we cloth diaper we have to use a cloth diaper safe butt cream <laughs> so I've always liked grandma L's but we've used it a lot this month and um, it says it's a cloth diaper safe. You always want to be kind of cautious just because there can be some buildup if you use a lot, um, if you kind of see it. If I'm going to put a diaper rash cream on him, I make sure I'm using a pre-fold. That way, if there is any issues with buildup, I can just boil the pre-folds. Whereas if I'm using them with like a PUL diaper, like an all-in-one or something like that, I can't boil that because the PUL will delaminate. So um, if I'm going to use a diaper rash cream, I always use it with a pre-fold just in case. Even if it's completely cloth diaper safe, just it's not worth it to mess up your diapers, right? So, but this... This is my go-to diaper rash cream. For Christmas, Hannah got her beginner Bible. This is kind of, I think this is the same one that I had growing up. And every night we read her a couple stories and she loves it. I love all the um, illustrations and how simple the stories are. And there's kind of, there's a really good flow to the story throughout. And um, it's, she really looks forward to it. I look forward to it. And I think it's just, it's a great way to introduce her to some of the Bible stories. So this has definitely been a favorite this month. Hannah was really upset when I took it out of her room tonight so I could film this. She was like, but I want you to read that to me. And I was like, I already did. She's like, read more. <laughs> so she she loves this. And it was um, it was definitely one of her favorite Christmas presents, which is, I don't know, it makes me a little makes mama proud. So I have been breastfeeding William for 11 months now. I'm very proud. Actually, almost 11 and a half months. And um, for the most part, I can go without using breast pads now. Finally, at like 10 months, I stopped using them. <sighs> but sometimes now, they, especially they sleeping through the night, I still have a little... Um, can we just put a hashtag TMI right here? <laughs> now that he's sleeping more through the night, sometimes I get a little engorged and there's a little leakage and... If I'm not wearing a breast pad, then it gets on my night shirt pajamas. Uh, anyway, um, so I am loving the Medela Quick Clean Breast Milk Remover. So all I, all you do is you basically use this like a shout, like a laundry stain pre-treater. And I don't know what it does. I don't, I don't know how it works, but it quickly dissolves the breast milk. And um, because if you don't pre-treat it, it can stain because there's like the oily it's like an oil stain on your shirt and we spend so much on these like nursing tanks we don't want them to have breast milk spots stains on them so this is definitely worth investing in if you are going to be breastfeeding because trust me you will use it you will use it and if you don't use it on your clothes you can use it on your pump on your bottles anywhere the breast milk gets so this is a I, I'm a huge fan I've been looking for a really good face cleaner. It's so hard in the winter because I feel like my skin is really dry, but yet at the same time I'm kind of hormonal because I'm postpartum and I'm breastfeeding. And bleh. So I'm loving the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just got this really great pump. It comes with this, it's like a muslin washcloth. It's big though. <laughs> and I don't I don't know what it is about this but my skin just feels so good and it's so clean and I haven't had any issues with blemishes or anything it's amazing it's amazing I'm loving this the natural active ingredients are rosemary chamomile cocoa butter and eucalyptus essential oil it says it cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother clearer skin and I believe it because I think my skin is looking great lately now in a birch box video recently I bashed Juicy Couture's perfume and so I just want to state that 
I don't hate all of their perfumes. This Viva La Juicy is so good. I love it. It was my Christmas gift from Santa. This giant, giant, this is huge, bottle was on overstock and I think it was like maybe 50 bucks. Um, it was cheaper than I could find it anywhere else. So if $50 sounds high, then I paid less for it. I don't know. But, oh, it smells so good. I love Viva La Juicy. It's like my go-to perfume right now. It like kind of smells a little sexy, but it's not trampy. I don't know. It walks that fine line and it just smells fabulous. Okay, three items left, guys. Like I was saying, since it's winter, I want my skin to be soft and supple. And so I'm really loving the Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. It's this creme de serum. I don't it says you apply it morning or night to clean skin. You use one or two pumps and use once daily. It's just a great facial moisturizer. I don't know. I feel like I am pampering my skin when I use this. I got this sample from Influencer in a box and I am a huge fan. And I, when this runs out, I'm going to have to go buy the whole line at Ulta. All right. Many of you saw my Birchbox and Ipsy unboxing for February. And I was like, hmm, matte blush. This is the first matte blush I've ever used. All my blushes for my entire life have been the like sparkly iridescent blushes and I was never a huge blush fan. This is the first matte blush I have ever tried. Yes, that's pathetic, I know. Um, but it's the first one I've ever used and I, I love it. It looks so much better. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think that this hides imperfection so much better and it just kind of gives you a flush instead of making you look sparkly. And so I am loving it. I'm loving it. This $3 blush has like completely changed my makeup routine. I'm going to have to try more matte blushes. So if you have a favorite matte blush, leave it in a comment below because I've, I'm going to expand my horizons and try new blushes because this has totally opened my eyes. Thank you, Ipsy. And the very last February favorite, I'm saving it for last because I bought this months ago. I used it like twice and then I lost it and I had no idea where it went, couldn't find it anywhere, but I knew it would eventually turn up and my husband finally cleaned out his car and he found it. And I'm so happy to have it back. It's the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This mascara is amazing, amazing. On Facebook, I asked for mascara recommendations and a lot of you suggested this and you were right. It's totally awesome. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's just awesome. So I'm wearing it right now, but keep in mind, I put my makeup on probably 14 hours ago. Um, yeah, 14 hours ago. So I have a little fallout in the corners, but I think for the most part, it holds up so well. And I think it looks not like I'm wearing fake lashes, but it really makes my eyes pop. So I'm a huge fan and I'm so glad I got it back. I really should have just bit the bullet and bought a new one like months ago instead of wasting my time on those other mascaras. But you guys, I'm such a fan now. Oh, I just love it. So anyways, that is my February favorites. There's food and toys and health and beauty and a bunch of, I don't know why I like it. I just like it. So, <laughs> so if you did a February favorites, let me know down below so I can go and watch it. I think these videos are really fun. It's neat to see kind of what people are liking you know, seasonal and for their kids and all sorts of stuff. So I will talk to you guys later and thank you so much for watching. Bye. She's like, yeah, just go outside. Just go, just go outside. So I'm like, okay. And so we go outside and I'm like expecting her to tell me something like, I don't know, she's had like some emergency or something. And she's like, keep going, just go down there. And I'm like, okay. So we walk a couple steps and she's like, we have to get out of here. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, we have to go.